All right, let's knock this out of the park, Barry Bond style, without the juice, if you know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> if somebody or some group brings Ghost Rider TV series from out of, of its TV graveyard, it should have a proper spinoff. If Full House, Fuller House, uh, Boy Meets World, Girl Meets World can have its own spinoffs, why can't Ghost Rider TV series? And those two series are now with Netflix. I wouldn't be surprised if it end up landed on that uh, on Netflix, which is Ghost Rider TV series. And they should. And my suggestion is make it like a three part episode of the story arc. Some can be four part episodes of the story arc as far as the location it has to be in New York or somewhere else but I would prefer it to be in New York either it could be in Brooklyn it could be in Manhattan it could be Bronx New York New York it doesn't matter as long as it's in New York because we saw what happened with the new Ghost Rider mysteries it was in Canada they're trying to make it as a, if it's Brooklyn, New York, and it. You know how I feel about the new Ghost Rider mysteries. I don't hate Canada. I don't hate Canadians at all. I don't. I just don't like the series for what it was and how it turned out. And plus, it felt more like a reboot than a spinoff. <clears throat> Just have a proper spinoff for Ghost Rider TV series if it's brought back. That's all I'm saying. Now, as for the the best story arc, the worst story arc, the most overrated story arc, and the most underrated story arc, let me get the best one out the way. Who is Max Mouse? The worst story arc, Attack of the Slime Monster, for how it turned out. Plus, it. It's like they just mailed it in. And the saddest part of all is it was the final story arc of the TV series. And that was on uh, season three, which unfortunately was can the Ghost Rider TV series was canceled after the third season due to its lack of funding. And it had very little to do with the case. The most overrated, and this is what this is gonna hurt me the most to catch a creep. Hear me out. I didn't watch uh, Ghost Story and Who Burned Mr. Blinker's Store. In fact, I watched those two story arcs for the first time at least a couple of years ago on YouTube. I was introduced the uh, the series, you know, the uh, Ghost Rider TV series by watching To Catch a Creep while I lived in overseas. My family was in the military and things of that nature when I watched To Catch a Creep story arc for the very first time for Ghost Rider TV series I thought it was the greatest of all time period no story arc can ever will ever compare would be better than To Catch a Creep now I, look, I watched it a couple of few years ago and I was like yeah it was good but not the greatest of all time I put it on the pedestal and I think that was incredibly unfair you see why it hurts me so bad saying it <laughs> so and uh, the most underrated over a barrel what's your uh, best story worst story art most overrated story arc, most underrated story arc, Ghost Rider fans, leave it in the comments. I'll read them. Let me know. And before I go, there are more positives of the Ghost Rider TV series. It, it's like a Fox hit TV series empire in the terms of star power. You had that woman who played in the Cosby show, uh, who plays Dr. H who's it? Dr. Hustle, Dr. Huxtable's wife. I can't pronounce her last name to save my life because I don't want to butcher it. Uh, Samuel L. Jackson, Jeremy Miller, Julia Stiles, MTV's VJs, 
Dr. Dre at Lover and more. And when I saw uh, Samuel L. Jackson played as Jamal Jenkins' dad, I'm like, he was on Who Burned Mr. Blinker's Store. I think it was. Hold on. I just want to make sure because I don't want to screw it up. Yeah, he, he played on Who Burned Mr. Blinker's Store. I was like, really? Samuel L. Jackson? Ain't that something? <laughs> Ain't that something? And, um, they will have like a group group meeting they call a rally which uh they'll have um they'll put their name initials and have ghost rider go out and man manipulate words and where the ghost rider team can see it and they're like okay something's something's wrong something's going down something's important let's go out have a meeting things of that nature it's kind of like a little text message you know but Back in the 90s, you didn't have a, a cell phone, but, well, in the early mid-90s. So, <clears throat> that was really cool. And, um, I did have a novel, to, a novel books of Ghost Rider. Unfortunately, I only have two. There were 45 books. Only have two. Blackout and alias Diamond Jones. For somebody who is a almost well not almost but a hardcore fan of Ghost Rider TV series, I only have two books. <laughs> just two. I I just feel, I I just feel so empty. And, but I read those books at least several times. That's how good they are. That's how good they are. So, what do you guys think? Do y'all have any uh, novel books? Did you ever bought them? Did you ever read them? That's my video for today. I will do a Varus Thoughts Volume 129 video next month. I'll bring a couple stories from this month and next month and just comment on them. What's your thoughts on the video? And with that, throwing y'all salute. Have a great day. Talk to you guys later.